Welcome to the review of the BBT1 creme brulee and um, uh, low torch head. Here we have the, the torch head and the fuel canister. You will see it's different from a refillable torch uh, canister in the sense that the top has a flange with a notch cut out of it where the other one hasn't. It's got a very thin nozzle um, so I'll put that aside. So when you look at that this one has got a a tab which fits into that notch you just press it and give it a quarter twist and that's it that's it then you open the fill press the trigger and away you go it also has an adjustment for the flame which you can adjust so it gets a nice nice flame of course you can go from a very small to a really big 8 inch flame now we're going to start off by doing some uh, creme brulee um, so I've got about a tea teaspoon and a half, two teaspoons of sugar that I'm going to put on there, shake it to just even it out and on a, about a medium flame we'll just start torching and I'm, you'll see I'm using a circular motion to make sure that I even out the heat over the whole area and um, when it starts smoking you can just uh, take the flame away for a for a second and you keep going until all the sugar below is actually melted um, you see it evens out into a nice even layer now I've got one here that I've done before earlier and you can see very nice and nice and hard that's how it's supposed to be so really delicious the next we've got we're gonna do some oh, watch out for the flame one thing you want to be careful is um, the flame is almost invisible um, and uh, one must be really careful that you don't burn yourself so here I have some beautiful strawberries with uh, some whipped, some uh, egg whites and sugar and just see how easily that actually colors and one, one must be careful not to overdo it not to burn it but just give it a nice brown color or golden color and it's just lovely so how appetizing is that just beautiful Next we've got um, a pie, a beautiful pie with um, some egg whites and again for the camera I'm going to just open up the flame a bit and just touch it with the tip of the flame, just really careful not to overdo it and just look at that, just gorgeous. Um, now I'm going to show you a baked Alaska with beautiful ice cream underneath covered in um, egg white and sugar mixture and just again look at that just makes all the difference with a little bit of color and it just does that so effortlessly just so easy huge difference just looks lovely next I'm going to show you some um, fruit sometimes when the um, Early in, the, early in the season when the peaches haven't got enough sugar yet or they've been picked too early and they're not um, sweet enough you can cover it with a little sugar uh, I've got some banana there as well and just caramelize the sugar which will form a crusty hard sugar sugar layer and gives it a beautiful golden color you can just see there how easy easy that happens at the moment that sugar um, solidifies it will be forming a hard crust and uh, it's just beautiful in texture um, next I've got some uh, some entrees here with a little bit of uh, mozzarella cheese so just so quick and easy to use as a uh, kitchen torch which is really versatile and um, so probably 
pull the flame back a bit it gives it give the cheese a bit of ch uh, an opportunity to just take up the heat and start melting and then it will just become nice and gooey and the golden brown color again nice texture nice color and just beautiful um, now one of the American favorites of course is s'mores s'mores will need to be probably be done on a really small flame so you don't burn the marshmallow so just heat it up slowly um, give it beautiful color but give it a chance to absorb the heat and uh, penetrate so until it becomes nice and gooey and you just flatten it all out and beautiful small ready to eat next uh, I've got a really lovely hot cocoa or hot chocolate and um, just top it off with beautiful marshmallows again heating it up making it nice and uh, gooey and just full of deliciousness just give it that extra bit of um, texture and flavor and color this uh, BBT one has got a really high heating capacity which is ideal for roasting peppers so I'm just going to turn it quite up quite a bit and it will just see how effortlessly it will uh, burn the skin or char the skin so that you can uh, just pull it off so very very easy to do see how the skin just pops up and so uh, when it cools down a bit you can just pull it off and you can use the uh, pepper in uh, making palm trays and different things so it's easy effortlessly uh, next up we've got some eggplants this is an eggplant that I've done before again on high heat um, here we basically keep it in one spot until it completely blackens um, and you'll see that it actually will start looking like an ember, glow like an ember and so you just continue on and on until the whole um, eggplant, eggplant is covered you see that, that section there is done now and it will actually glow like an ember if you, if you look at it closely so that's what I've done with that one basically went around and around and uh, once, you, once you've finished you scrape all the, the skin off but leaving a few bits like that um, then put it in the microwave for about uh, a minute or two just to soften it put it through a, uh, a, food, a food processor with some garlic and some lemon and, and salt and um, you make beautiful eggplant dip so very easy beautiful in texture and taste uh, next up we've got some, if you want to skin a tomato, really easy, you can just see how the skin basically just pops um, very quickly to, to take the skin off the tomato, just listen to the popping there and it's really as quick and as easy as that and that's all you need to do now you can see with this one, uh, which I've done before and, and the, the skin just peels off very easy so very quick to do next I'm going to show you a how to do a beautiful roast chicken you can see from this chicken it's um, the skin is quite bleak needs just a little bit of color so uh, basically we'll just do that just have a look at how quickly the color comes out in just a few seconds it's a whole different chicken looks appetizing looks amazing and uh, of course when it's with a crispy skin it will also taste fantastic so easy as that next up we've got a um, 
pork roast. Now again, the pork roast, quite beautiful, but it just need, needs that extra bit of oomph. So uh, let's see. see how the skin just pops the moment it gets heat. dimension. Next up we're going to do corn on the cob. Very, very easy to do. First put it in the microwave for about a minute just to warm the insides and uh, then basically just torch it. And we'll see how the thermal starts to pop. And just beautiful, very easy. And it looks and tastes fantastic. And just give it a barbecue look and feel. And then once you finish with that, you can smear it with a bit of extra butter, put some chicken or chili salt on it, and it's just delicious. Uh, next up, we're going to show you some other um, things to do, um, non-food things like uh, some soldering. Now this is quite easily. This, this torch is probably a bit of an overkill, so I'll put it on a small flame and um, basically heat up the wire, see how it immediately melts. You can see they're perfectly done in a matter of seconds. Really quick, let's do another one. So heat it up, add the solder and it just flows in beautifully, perfect in seconds. Um, here we got a, of course, because of this high heating capacity, it's excellent for um, thawing some pipes. So, uh, of course, just heat it up, no problem at all. It's a solder, please. And then, of course, if you need to solder the, um, the, the pipes shut, uh, again, just put some heat on it, just some solder. And see how the solder is already melted in place, all done in, in a matter of seconds, all finished. And of course, if you need to do something small, like lighting candles, you know, as we get older, might be 50 candles that you need to light. How easy it is to use, a, use that. Quick and easy, beautiful. And lastly, of course, one of the difficult things to light up are sparklers or sparkles, and no easier way than using a blowtorch. So, just simple as that. Thank you for watching this review. I hope you find some really interesting things to do with your torch. Um, I must say, I've really been enjoying mine. It's great quality, it's, um, it works efficiently, it lights up every time. I like the fact that you can uh, change, set the flame small or large and uh, adjust the, the flame as well so great quality thank you for watching all the best all the best